Father, I thank you that you love me and that you have always loved me and you will continue to love me throughout eternity. I thank you that you sent Jesus to the world 2,000 years ago to show me what you were really like. That you're not distant and angry, but you are a loving Father. And that you desire to lavish your love on me. So, Father, I just pray right now that I would open up my heart to you today to receive the full measure of your love. And I know that perfect love casts out all fear. I thank you that you said, Jesus, that we are not to take any thought for tomorrow, to not take any thought for our lives, what we should eat, what we shall drink, where we should live. And you said that we should look at the birds of the air who neither sow nor reap nor store into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. And then you said, Are you not much more valuable than they? I thank you that I am valuable in your sight. I pray today that I might know who I am in you and that I would know my value to our Father. That he did not even spare his own son but freely gave him up for us all so that we might graciously receive all things. So I pray today, Father, that I could look at the birds of the air and be reminded of your incredible love for me, that I am more valuable than every bird, every sparrow, though even one bird does not fall to the ground apart from your will. You've numbered every hair on my head. And Jesus, you said, Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So today, by faith, in the new and living way, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, just like it is in heaven. I thank you that your kingdom lives within me. And it is not a kingdom of eating or drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And I thank you that you are pleased to give me your kingdom. And I say your kingdom come. Your will be done in me, in my life. I just pray today, Father, that I would truly seek your kingdom first and your righteousness, and I would know that all other things would be added unto me as well. Ah, the Lord is the light of my salvation, the strength of my life. Of whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? 
thank you that I live in the shadow of the Almighty, in the secret place of the Most High. And I thank you, Father, that when you open your hand, you provide for all that you have created. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to try to provide for myself today. I don't have to protect myself. For I come under the protection of your amazing love. Help me to rest in your care today. You said, cast all your cares on him. For he cares for you. So today I cast my cares on you, Father, because I know that you care for me. I thank you that you have hidden the kingdom from the wise and the prudent, and you chose to reveal these things of the kingdom to those with a childlike heart. So Father, today, I come to you as a little child and that you are my father and that you are my provider. You protect me from everything and I rest in your amazing love. For you are a father who gives good gifts to his children. You are the father of lights who does not change like shifting shadows. So I rest in your love today. I rest in your care. Father, would you just love all the orphan ways out of my heart? I choose to be a son whom the Father loves. simply because I belong to Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your loving care. It is wonderful to be home. It is wonderful to live in your house without a fear, without a care. 